Begin with breaking news at this hour, sentencing in a high-profile case of betrayal, sex, and murder. The widow of 20th Century Fox executive Gavin Smith just gave a very angry mm -hmm. statement in court. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live downtown L.A. with details. Dave. Yes, indeed. She was extremely angry. This was her husband who was uh, murdered, uh, murdered over uh, an alleged affair that uh, her husband was having with the ex-girlfriend of the man who was found guilty of killing him. That man is Johnny Creech. You'll see him on video right now. He is a con with a long record. He was given the maximum today of 11 years, and he is accused, was found guilty, I should say, of beating to death Gavin Smith, who at one time played for John Wooden's UCLA basketball team. He was on his last national championship team, and he was an executive with the Fox Studios. Smith, according to the uh, information, was having an affair with Creech's ex-girlfriend. Creech was irate, found him, beat him to death, and then kept it a secret for almost two years. You're about to hear the voice of uh, the widow of uh, Gavin Smith. This man trapped his wife with a phone app, ambushed my husband, beat him to death in a car, Left him in that car for days at someone else's. Stan had the body man, the Quay's house. Drags him into a van. Drags him out to a desert. Complains on the stand about his poor biceps and having to drag my husband 25 yards after beating him to death. And then he couldn't get him down in there because he hadn't dug it deep enough. Because my body, that my husband's body was in bad condition on day six. He killed him. It would have been the worst thing in the world. But no, he had to take him and hide him. He wanted us to never, ever find him. And I hope that he gets life for the drug conviction felony federal filing that was just filed. And I hope he spends the rest of his life in prison. He shouldn't be amongst us. He needs to be in walls like an animal that he is. I believe any other person sitting in this courtroom would have called 911, would have sought medical help, and you did not. And I think it's because, frankly, uh, you're a cold and cruel person. Was the judge Stephen Marcus, who made it very clear he was not pleased with the verdict of this jury. The verdict was uh, voluntary manslaughter. The uh, DA wanted to get uh, first degree murder, but uh, the jury came back uh, with that voluntary manslaughter. So again, 11 years max, a lot of emotion. The family of Gavin Smith did not want to go on camera afterward.